Hans Eysenck's personality theory. Hans Eysenck was a very influential psychologist who wanted to understand what makes people behave the way they do. He believed that our personalities could be measured and studied just like any other part of science. Instead of thinking that personality is a random mix of thoughts, feelings, and habits, Eysenck said that it follows certain patterns. He believed that by understanding these patterns, we can understand ourselves and others better. At the center of Eysenck's personality theory is the idea that personality can be broken down into a few major traits. These traits are not random. They are natural ways that people behave, think, and feel. According to him, people are born with certain personality tendencies, and these tendencies can be grouped into three major dimensions. Think of these dimensions as scales. Some people may be high on one scale and low on another, while others may be in the middle. These three main traits are extroversion, neuroticism, and psychoticism. Let us begin with extroversion. This dimension tells us how outgoing or reserved someone is. On one end of the scale, we have extroverts. These people are talkative, social, energetic, and love being around others. They enjoy parties, group activities, and new experiences. On the other end of the scale are introverts. Introverts are quiet, thoughtful, and often prefer being alone or in small groups. They may enjoy reading, thinking, or spending time with a close friend instead of a large crowd. Eysenck believed that the difference between introverts and extroverts comes from how their brains react to stimulation. Extroverts need more external stimulation to feel satisfied, while introverts already feel enough stimulation from inside their own minds. The second dimension is neuroticism. This trait describes how emotionally stable or unstable a person is. People who are high in neuroticism tend to worry a lot, feel anxious, and get upset easily. They may struggle with stress and find it hard to relax. People who are low in neuroticism are usually calm, steady, and emotionally balanced. They can handle stress better and are less likely to feel overwhelmed. Eysenck said that people high in neuroticism are more sensitive to threats or danger, even when the situation is not very serious. This can lead to feelings of fear, guilt, or sadness that are stronger than what most people feel. The third and final dimension is psychoticism. This one is a little more complex. People who score high on psychoticism may be aggressive, unkind, cold, or lack empathy. They may be more likely to break rules, ignore social norms, or act without thinking about how their actions affect others. People low in psychoticism are kind, caring, and follow rules. They get along well with others and show compassion. It is important to understand that psychoticism in Eysenck's theory does not mean someone is mentally ill. It just means that their personality is more rebellious, tough, and sometimes hostile. Eysenck believed that these three dimensions can describe anyone's personality. Every person falls somewhere on each of the three scales. For example, someone might be an extrovert, emotionally stable, and kind. Another person might be an introvert, anxious, and rebellious. By combining the different levels of each trait, Eysenck created a system for understanding the wide variety of human personalities. One of the things that made Eysenck's theory stand out was his belief that personality has a strong biological basis. He believed that we are born with certain traits and that our brains and nervous systems play a big role in shaping our behavior. For example, he said that extroverts have lower levels of natural brain activity, so they seek out excitement to raise their levels. Introverts, on the other hand, 
have higher levels of brain activity, so they avoid too much stimulation. He also thought that neuroticism is linked to how easily the nervous system reacts to stress. People who are more reactive will show more emotional ups and downs. To prove his ideas, Isenck did a lot of research. He created questionnaires and tested thousands of people. He used a method called factor analysis, which helps find patterns in large amounts of data. From this research, he found that the three main traits kept appearing across different cultures, ages, and backgrounds. This supported his belief that these traits are universal parts of human personality. Isenck's theory is also important because it has been used in real life. It has helped in fields like education, therapy, and even the workplace. For example, understanding whether someone is high in neuroticism can help counselors give better advice for managing anxiety. Knowing if someone is an extrovert or introvert can help teachers create a better learning environment. Employers can use personality assessments to match people with the right jobs. People who are calm and thoughtful may do better in detail-focused work, while outgoing and energetic people may shine in customer service or sales. Despite its strengths, Isenck's theory has received some criticism. Some people say that it focuses too much on biology and not enough on the environment. They argue that life experiences, family, and culture also play a big role in shaping personality. Others say that reducing all of personality into just three traits is too simple. However, even with these criticisms, Isenck's work remains a foundation in psychology. His ideas inspired other theories and led to the development of more advanced models like the five-factor model of personality. One thing that makes Isenck's theory useful is how practical it is. You can actually use it in everyday life to understand yourself and others. If you know that your friend is an introvert, you will understand why they might not want to go to a loud party. If you know your coworker is high in neuroticism, you will understand why they get anxious before meetings. If you recognize that someone has high psychoticism, you might be more careful about trusting them too quickly. These insights can lead to better relationships, better communication, and more understanding between people. In conclusion, Hans Isenck's personality theory gives us a clear and scientific way to understand human behavior. By focusing on three main traits, extroversion, neuroticism, and psychoticism, he showed that we can study personality in a structured and meaningful way. He believed that our biology plays a big part in shaping who we are, and his research helped prove that point. Although his theory is not perfect, it has stood the test of time and continues to be useful in many areas of life. Whether you are a student, a teacher, a parent, or just someone who wants to understand people better, Isenck's theory can help you see things more clearly. If you enjoyed this explanation and found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot and helps us continue creating content that makes complex ideas easy to understand. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.